It was quite possibly the greatest final ever, and one of the game's greatest ever players finally has his hands on that famous trophy. 36 years later, Argentina are back on top of world football. Hello there and welcome to Football Now from the home of the FIFA World Cup Final, the Lusale Stadium. After 29 days and 64 matches, we have our winners. Argentina getting their hands on that famous trophy for a third time and so has Lionel Messi. Here's a reminder of how they've done it. Lionel Scaloni's side started the tournament where they finished it, but the Lusale Stadium was by no means a happy hunting ground at first. An incredible 2-1 win for Saudi Arabia was the worst possible start. It meant a must-not-lose match against Mexico. Messi needed to step up. Messi did, his goal proving to be one of the tournament's best strikes. Argentina took that form into their final group game. Goals from Alexis McAllister and Julian Alvarez ensuring a 2-0 win against Poland. They would finish as group winners. After squeezing past Australia in the round of 16, it was the Netherlands up next in what proved to be one of the games of the tournament. A 2-0 lead thrown away at the death only to be saved, quite literally, by goalkeeper Martinez in penalties. A comfortable 3-0 win against Croatia set up the final against the reigning champions, and the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, I think at the end was a great uh, game, an amazing final for, for the people, but for us it was like, you're happy, you're sad, you're happy, you're sad, but now we're happy at the end. This is the most important day of my life. I spend all my money and ask for people to give me money to come here. We came with, on, with no ticket and we do the best uh, match of the history of the World Cup. I can't put into words, this is one of the best finals ever, if not the best final, and I can't believe I was there to witness history here. Messi winning in his last World Cup, watching it live. Can't get better than this. Oh man, it was it was a great feeling because you know we were in, <clears throat> waiting for this for many years and now we got it. So we are very very happy. I mean, you have no idea. The selection for us is like, I mean, everybody breathes it. You, it it's in your blood. I mean, if you're from Argentina, you, you know what that means. No other match in the final can equal this. Uh, we were the best. We are the best, and we are continuing the best. Yes, some very happy fans indeed, and you cannot blame them, can you? Now, it has been a tournament that has not disappointed. Off the pitch, we've had people from all backgrounds coming together. On the pitch, Qatar 2022 will be remembered as the year of Messi's magic. Lionel, I mean, what can you say about him? You know, he's a, he's a special, special person, special individual um, on and off the field. Um, he plays with such elegance, passion, and I think this World Cup, more than any World Cup that I've seen him play in, you know, it feels different. It feels different watching him play. He's kind of, yes, he's got a great, you know, team around him. He's got, a, he's got you know, teammates that are um, great players, but he has been the leader of that team, you know, and you can feel that in every single game. In every single game that he's played, you know, he has kind of, you know, brought them through that game, whether they were going through a difficult time or, or, or playing as well as they can. With my friends and family, it's about who is the greatest of all time. I mean, is it Maradona? Is it Lionel Messi? And I think one thing that always comes up is the, the World Cup trophy. The way we've been playing is, is it's, it's crazy to watch. It's a joy to watch every time he has the ball, almost filled the entire stadium. Is you know still, and then uh, I love the chant that they have for him, and where they start doing Messi, Messi. He's a great player. Um, I think probably it's gonna take a very, very long time before we see players as he's kind, uh, even Ronaldo. Um, and then he, he deserves the World Cup. So then it's been a tournament to remember for Argentina, who are finally back at the summit of world football. But what lies ahead for the future of La Alba Celeste? I think. And I wish if Messi will be in his 39, uh, because he will be his birthday will be in the the World Cup, the 39th the World Cup, and this group of players will be with more um, uh, discipline, of course, but most importantly with more experience. They will be more experienced, and at least they will go to the final. So a tournament that will be remembered for Messi's masterclass, but also for the incredible Argentinian support. It's been crazy. I love their fans, the energy they bring, the passion. 
and they shout the entire time and they have this movement that I don't know what is, but it's kind of, you get a part of it. I've been to Argentina fans and I haven't really been cheering for Argentina, but I'm like, this is kind of cool, you know? And it's, it's, it's been really cool to see how many people from Argentina are in Doha right now. Also, know a lot of Arab regions, they love uh, Brazil and Argentina. Um, so it's, it's been a cool experience. And football is not just a game. Football is the life, represent the life. And uh, when, when South American uh, teams go to the pitch, yeah, all countries is together, you know, we have uh, uh, the same behavior with this hot behavior to scream and to cry and to touch. We need this. And Argentina represents this, these feelings. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's show and to the end of our World Cup coverage. Do join us at the same time next week when we have a look back on the year that was 2022. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.